Hello, it's Maggie, the Cheshire Crafter here. Um, I think you might be able to see I'm in my Christmas jumper because I've been locally today to the Christmas craft fair that was held in the local community centre. And I said that uh, I was singing with the choir and we sang for half an hour, which was lovely. We did sound really good. I must say I was pretty impressed uh, with the small number of people that we had because a few people were ill and a few people just couldn't make it because of the weather. Weather's been pretty bad here this week. Um, I did buy some things at the craft fair and I was able to speak to a number of the uh, crafters and artisans that were there and I've taken a few photographs and I'm just going to show you what I bought and why I bought them. I've treated myself to a few things for my Christmas tree and I've managed to buy some Christmas gifts and then some gifts that I can, I can put away for birthdays that fall in February and next April. But you'll see why I've linked them and why I've bought them now. I think if I'd walked away, I'd have regretted it. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing is, because we sang in the choir, we got uh, a free mulled wine and uh, mince pie. But actually, the reward for doing that was seeing the uh, pleasure on the faces of the people, the people watching us in the community centre, uh, the manager's staff, uh, the manager's smile, but most of all, the smile from our choir mistress, because we got it right. <laughs> I think she was delighted. <laughs> so were we. We sounded pretty good. Right. So here then is my local craft fair. Enjoy. This little birdhouse has been done by a lady called Zoe who runs Festival Woods and it's a little birdhouse. It's cardboard, it's very lightweight, but she's beautifully decoupaged it with William Morris prints. And I think she's painted the bottom and it's done absolutely exquisitely. I think this is the Strawberry Thief. And I think it's absolutely delightful. That's going to hang on my Christmas tree. Thank you, Zoe. Well, I treated myself at the craft fair to something from this lady at the Hollows Pottery. Her name is Erica. And uh, I said, I've got pinks and purples in my lounge so I've bought this little ceramic bell and listen it's got a little ceramic ringer on the inside and I really like that it's lovely can you hear the world cup in the background the singing the Marseillaise which is France and we're playing England so any moment now I think we're gonna get God save the Queen I bought a little something from a friend who made me a toadstool a number of years ago and she makes them out of cork. So there's a little fridge magnet here for her, specially made by this lady who's a Cheshire ceramic artist called The Hollows Pottery. And I think she'll really like that. I do. I like to support local businesses and this is made by somebody who lives in the next village to me and these are very traditional flavours gooseberry jam, damson jam and a beetroot chutney. Now I've bought these for Christmas for my brother and I think he's going to really enjoy those. This gift is a candle. 
it's made by a company called the Candle Hut and she calls them eco candles and they're made in Snowdonia which is Wales. This lady does have an Etsy shop and just as I open the box you'll see how beautifully gift wrapped this is. The candle actually smells of gingerbread and I've got a friend who is particularly fond of gingerbread at Christmas and I think she'll really enjoy that. I treated myself to some decorations from a Christmas tree and this is something I've never seen done before. This is from a lady who runs an Etsy shop. She's a Cheshire lady and her company is called Emedy Green. She's Emedy Green on Etsy and she does this exquisite work. This is decoupage. Christmas decorations and if I turn over you will see what she's decoupaged these onto. They are oyster shells, the, these are the tops of the oyster shells which she's painted or sprayed gold and then she's so beautifully decoupaged that. These are gorgeous and these are my treat to me. Thank you. I bought this gift for the friend that I've made the Busy Bee patchwork throw for and she has a birthday in April. So I've purchased this now because this gift, this little trinket gift is an oyster shell which has been painted beautifully and then decoupaged and that Busy Bee fabric that I use will go beautifully with this and she's provided it in this beautiful black velvet pouch and then I have another friend who has a birthday in February and I think she'll love this this is slate this is a slate tart it's actually quite big it's about well it's certainly a six by six inch quite a heavy slate and it's absolutely beautiful I'm sure my friend will love that. And again, this is from Emedy Green. Sorry about that. And she has an Etsy.com shop. These are Cheshire crafters. And I'm more than happy to support our local crafters and artisans in their work. This little scrunchie is made of, it, it's actually more royal blue, it looks brighter blue here I think on camera in this light. But it's made of crushed velvets and I think this will go lovely with the dresses that I want to wear at Christmas. And I just want to end this video with another decoupage slate. What a beautiful image this is for Christmas. This will look beautiful with that candle shining upon it. I think it'll pick out the colours and the golds. So that's all from me from our local craft fair. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed going. And I hope you just enjoyed looking at the produce that I've bought. I'm delighted with what I've bought for myself and what I've bought as gifts for other people. And I'm really delighted that uh, things are one-offs it supports local crafters and they can't be repeated by buying them in the retail stores so for now this is maggie the cheshire crafter saying bye for now come back and see me soon won't you i'll be back with more vlog vlogmas before you know it bye